Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to continue the series uh, that we started a while back, which is which one is better. And today we're going to be taking in two cosmic champions, both female. We're going to be doing uh, Medusa versus Captain Marvel or Captain Marvel, uh, however you want to pronounce it. So Medusa versus Captain Marvel. And we're going to look at Medusa is a level 150 rank four. Uh, so she's pretty stacked up there. She's not yet at rank five. And then we have Captain Marvel, which is SIG 52, again, rank four. So we're going to take them into Realm of Legends. We're going to take them up against Winter Soldier. And the way we're going to do this, because they're not rank five champions, we're going to do 50% with one champion, and then we're going to do the next 50% with the second champion. So let's take in first of all, we're going to take a look at uh, what the stats are. Poison immunity, both of these champions, by the way, are poison immunity champions, which pretty much is uh, a nice immunity to have. And um, let's see, both of them are offensive, um, hashtag offensive champions. And uh, both of them are pretty powerful female champions in the game. So who should be taken first? Uh, let's take in first of all Medusa into the gameplay. And uh, what we know about Medusa, she's great against robot champions. And again, she has an awesome armor break uh, for everyone in the game except uh, Colossus, who is immune to armor breaks unless it's uh, against a tech champion so again medusa is dishing out her damage here she armor breaks on sp1 she just does armor breaks on any uh, medium uh when you here you go armor break on every medium and she does armor break on sp1 her block proficiency is fantastic she took all of that uh those are lineups of uh, bullets, I should say. And she actually did pretty good against it because she took just less than 1% damage. So she's pretty good with her block proficiency as well. Again, she also has that auto block. I'm gonna try to in, um, have that auto block go into play uh, later on in this fight. Uh, let's see. How that does that actually saves you quite a lot of damage and saves you quite a lot of times in any fight again medusa very good for defense on alliance wars again she is one of those champions that really does have quite a lot of damage if you don't know how to um, attack her so she's very good for defense but in my opinion she's way better as at offense Again, if you disagree with any of the comments, please feel free to leave your comments below. And you feel free to leave your comments below as to which of these champions you feel is better. And here we go. She's pretty reliable. She keeps that armor break up, meaning that she's gonna dish out a lot more damage because the opponent is armor broken and takes a lot more damage. So she is devastating. She has some pretty good synergies as well. And here we go. Living Strand does even more damage. She has a stack of Fury as well. I mean, this champion is just high damage output. Her SP2 is one of the best in the game for damage. And she leaves them on stun as well. So her SP2 is one of my favorites to fire off. Let's fire it off here. There you go. And it ends with that stun, which allows you to dish out uh, a lot more damage at the end of that. Um, here you go, auto block, perfect. Save my butt there more than once. And she is dishing out pretty good damage. And we already have him down to 55%. So the last matchup we had um, Night Trasher and we had uh, Ma Massacre and because she is rank 4 instead of rank 3, we brought him down to 50% very very fast. So Medusa feels good, everything about her feels good and she does a lot of damage. 
But now we're going to be looking at a next poison immunity champ, but high energy damage output, uh, which is Captain Marvel. And she does take a little bit more time to build up, but once she passes and she gets into that binary mode and she goes on stop um, indestructible as well, she has great synergies as well, even better synergies in my opinion. Dan Medusa, and um, especially the uh, the one with Nick Fury. And you know, Nick Fury is an absolute beast in the game, if not the best champion in the game, uh, which with, with his ridiculous damage output and bleeds. And here we go, Biden Ignition is ready. And we're gonna just start dishing out um, a lot of damage. Now, Captain Marvel, she does need to build up for that high damage output, but she could pretty much do it in the very first few minutes of uh, any fight. So she could start dishing out high damage output uh, from fight one. She doesn't have to do two, three fights to get into that, uh, which is what makes her so devastating. A lot of armor breaks going on as well. She takes hits like a champ, and then she goes indestructible when we go into binary. I'm gonna try to get her into that binary when she hits 24 of those charges up on the top left there, you see she's at 40 now. When she hits 24, she's going to go into binary ignition and she is going to dish out a ton of damage. Probably the most amount of damage in this game. There we go. Indestructible is fired off. She's at 24. You can see the indestructible icon up there. We're going to try to get the SP2 on fire off and check out the damage. He's at 28% right now. And let's, let's look at it when I fire up the SP2, 26, 24, 22, and then it's a stun. And then she could fire off her heavies and build even more of those charges. So definitely Medusa is great, but when it comes to putting out that damage, once she builds it, uh, I don't think Medusa could even compare to Captain Marvel. So just because of that high damage output. And when you go into a second fight, she's great for questing. Uh, and you already have that charges built. And she goes into the second fight. She destroys the opponent within seconds of the fight. So again, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. We're just going to take him down. Uh, uh, he has 11% now. We're going to build those charges again and fire it off. Now, if you pull back and hold block, she is going, once she's over 10 charges, she is going to go into binary ignition again, and you're gonna get a short burst of power, but we're gonna take her back up to 24% and finish this fight off. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Remember, we're gonna continue these, this series all week and all month long until the first start of the year. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you get follow up videos on who is better. We're gonna be displaying two champions all week long. And here you go, he's done. Captain Marvel wins, and I believe Captain Marvel wins this battle as being the better champion. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Subscribe, like, and don't forget, work less, play more, and enjoy life. You guys have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.